Greetings viewers, this is CP666 signing on for hopefully a quick video about this brother, Super Power Note, PN8500 MDS word processor. And today, as the video title tells you, we are going to be working with serial, serial communications. And what are we going to be communicating with? Here's a a long-lost friend, the Toshiba Satellite Pro 420 CDT, based on a Pentium 120 CPU. I think it might have 40 megs of RAM installed, and it is running Windows 3.1. Hold on a minute. I think before we get on with it, I'm going to clean off this display. That is disgusting. Of course, so is the keyboard. You can see all the hand cells. Yeah. But I think I'm going to just clean off the display first. That'll be a that'll be a start, at least. Ah, yes, that is much better if I do say so myself. So we'll go ahead and fire it up. The volume is on. I should turn that down a little bit. Got 40 megs of RAM. I miss the post beep. I really do, even though it made using a computer early in the morning rather difficult, especially when you weren't supposed to. There's just something about it that I really miss. You can see starting into Windows for Work Groups 3.11. Ta-da! Here is your desktop. Okay, so we're going to need to open up the terminal program. So we'll do that, and over here, we come back to this thing. We'll turn it on. Good morning. Yeah, it's like, you can see on your screen, it's like it's past 1.30 in the morning. I need to be in bed. Should have been in bed a long time ago. So we'll go to communications, and we will have to set our options up. So we'll go to setup. We don't have a phone number to dial, so that isn't going to matter. Now that's going to matter. So what we got to do is we got to set this thing up appropriately. So that's what we'll do. It won't be under that. Let's see. Communications. We're going to go over COM1. 9600 baud according to that thing. Bits per second, sorry. I think there's a certain point, I can't remember at what point, where baud and bits per second deviate from each other. But for the most part, they are the same. We have even parity, 7 bits, 1 stop bit, X on, X off control is on. I don't have a signal line control, I don't have, I don't have any of these other options here. Everything else should be okay. I'm going to set up auto line feed to on on this thing. So there's our settings for that setup. It should be theoretically our settings for this setup. So I'm going to get the tripod and we are going to try this out. Okay, so first things first, we're going to start off by trying to type on the computer and we'll see if it comes through on the power note like it is supposed to. If it does not, we'll know our settings are incorrect. And if our settings are incorrect, we'll either get garbage or we'll get nothing at all. So let's go ahead and try this out. There we go. Go for line feed. The keyboard uh, retainer on my 420 is kind of broken. It's rather unfortunate because you can't get these parts anymore. I've been tempted to hot glue it together, but I don't really think that'll last very long. I'll probably have to get some epoxy or something like that in order to do this correctly. So you can see we've now got two lines of text. My spacebar wasn't registering. There we go. Now we have some spaces. It is working just fine. So what we're going to do now is we are going to try typing on the Super Power Note and see if it comes in on the computer. And apparently I'll be enabling manual focus because it does not want to retain the focus. 
Okay, hopefully that's in focus. I see typos. It's rather difficult to rather difficult to do this. Oh, local echo is on on the power note, so you can see it's coming through on this as well as that. So now what I'm going to do is I'm going to try sending a file, but first I need a file to send. Okay, so we're going to try bringing a WPF file from this machine here. So we'll send it via X modem. And we'll try receiving it on here. We'll see if that actually manages to work. I'd assume I want to receive a binary file. We'll just put it into, oops, we'll put it into here. We'll call it test.wpf. And then on here, you know what? I probably should have set my protocol on this before I tried that. So we'll cancel this. And we'll change, we'll go back into communications. The option's not there. We'll go into transfers. X modem or CRC. So that's already set up. That's the only option it supports. So we'll try that again. Test.wpf. We'll go to the C drive. We'll go over here. We want to choose the second option. Send. Oh, wait a minute. Send WP text. It doesn't give me an option for a protocol, though. Cannot send text file in seven data bits. Oh, you suck. <laughs> so I'm probably going to have to change that. Cannot use X modem. And, oh. Yeah, I'm going to have to change the settings on this. Hang on just a minute. So I'm going to show you what happens when you've got uh, incorrect settings. It's still working. That's amazing. Apparently it's working. You know, that's never worked before. Outtake. But I may leave it in the video because it's actually kind of funny. Computers proving me wrong once again. Okay, let's try that again. Go to send. Send WP text file. And I don't know which one, doesn't really matter. We'll send that one, and we'll push enter on the computer. And is it working? I don't think so. So I think something is expecting something else, and it is not getting it. Oh, there we go. All right, it sent the file. Although, yeah, okay, so it did actually send the file. So let's go ahead and see if the file is on the computer. Oops, sorry about that. So we're going to go back to main, one of the file manager. I don't know. Actually, that's probably not going to work because it's not going to know what to open it with. Did it not save it? Or did I save it in the wrong place? I don't see it. Hmm. Something has gone wrong. Maybe I accidentally put it in here. It's T, test.wpf. There it is. Yeah, I accidentally put it in here. All right. So that isn't gonna work from the file manager, so we'll go ahead into Notepad which is probably the best way this is going to do anything. So we'll open. Open up our test.wpf file. And well, we've got some garbage, but it looks like it did survive intact. Obviously this is not a text file, so that isn't going to work too well. So how about we try signing a text file, and for that I'm going to have to convert it on this thing.
I don't know, I think I just found a bug in the firmware of this Brother Super Power Note because you can't load a text file into memory on this thing. Oh, wait a minute. I select the wrong option. No, I didn't. So, you can't send a text file. It, it just doesn't work. <laughs> so, unless it converts it on the fly, which maybe it does, I don't think so, but that just seems kind of weird to me. So I think there's a bug in the firmware on this thing. So what we're going to do now is we're going to try and send that same WP text file that we just sent here onto this. So type a file name. We'll call it test test rec v WPT. I'm gonna go over here and we will transfer the send binary file. Start out WPT. Seriously? WPF. There we go. Alright, and we will push enter on both. There we go, file sent. That was rather quick. So, when we go out of here, we'll disconnect. You know, the first time I tried doing this binary file transfer business, it didn't work. So we'll go into here. And there is the very same file that we sent. I don't see any corruption going on. Looks fine to me. Everything is there just like it was. So, there is a serial communications between a computer and a brother super power note. Thank you for watching. If you have any comments, feel free to leave them down below. And this is CP666 signing off. I hope to see you next time. Till then. So we'll close this. No, I'm not going to save the changes because I'm not going to do this again. We'll end our Windows session. And out we go.